So let's solve this problem. So given this equation of an ellipse, then to find the coordinates of the center, vertices, co-vertices, and foci, so we need to rewrite this equation to a standard form. So first, group all x. So we have 6x squared plus 48x, then plus group all y's. So that's 4y squared minus 40y then equals transpose this constant to the other side. So this becomes negative 172. Then we need to put this constant outside. So we have 6. So this becomes x squared in plus this 48 divided by this number. So divide by 6. 48 divided by 6. This is equal to 8. So we have 8x. Then plus 4y. Put this number outside. So we have y squared minus. Then for this number, divide by this number. So divide by 4. So this is 10y then equals negative 172. Then we can do now completing the square. So for x, take this number, divide by 2, take the square. So 8 divided by 2, this is 4 and 4 squared. So we have 16. Then for y, take this number. So that's 10. Divide by 2, take the square. And this is 5 squared, so we have 25. Then we need to add these numbers to this equation. So we have 6. Then x squared plus 8x then plus. So plus 16. Then for y, so we have 4 times y squared minus 10y then plus. So this number, so plus 25, then equals negative 172. Then the number you added on the left side must also be added on the right side. So plus, since we have this number outside, so we need to multiply these two numbers. So plus 6 times 16, then plus from y since we add 25 then we have this number outside so multiply these two numbers so plus 4 times 25 then we can apply now the quadratic factoring so this is 6 then factors for x squared so we have x since this one is positive so that's plus and for 16, this is 4 times 4, then quantity to the power 2. Then for y, so bring down this number. Then for the quadratic factoring, so for y squared, this is y times y. Since negative or minus, so this is minus. And for 25, this is 5 times 5. Then quantity to the power 2. Then equal. So we need to simplify this right side. So negative 172 plus 6 times 16. This is 96. Then plus 4 times 25. So we have 100. Then we have now 6 times the quantity of x plus 4 to the power 2, then plus 4 times the quantity of y minus 5 to the power 2, then equals so negative 172 plus 96 plus 100 so this is positive 24 
Now, take note that ellipse always equal to 1. So, to make this equation equal to 1, so we need to divide all the terms by this number. So, divide by 24. So, to make this equation equal to 1, also divide by 24. So, divide by 24. So, we have now we can cancel now this 6. And we have x plus 4 quantity to the power 2. Then over this 24 divided by 6. So, this is 4. Then plus 4y. So, we can cancel now this 4. And we have y minus 5 quantity to the power 2. Then over this 24 divided by 4. So, we have 6. Then equals 1. So, this is now the standard equation for this ellipse. Now, take note that for an ellipse, we have two standard equations, the vertical ellipse and the horizontal ellipse. So, if we have x squared over 7 plus y squared over 5, so this one is the horizontal ellipse because in an ellipse, A is greater than B. And A and B is the denominator of an ellipse. So since 7 is greater than 5, therefore 7 is A squared and 5 is B squared. So if we have X squared over 10, then plus Y squared over 13 equals 1. So, this ellipse is a vertical ellipse because A or A squared is the denominator of Y squared. And this one is B squared because 13 is greater than 10. So, from this standard equation, this ellipse is a vertical ellipse. Because A or A squared is the denominator of Y squared. And this one is B squared because 6 is greater than 4. So the bigger denominator is A squared and the smaller denominator is B squared. So since this one is a vertical ellipse, so these are now the formula. To find the coordinates of the center, vertices, foci, and co-vertices. But first, we need to find the five values, the H, the K. So H and K from the center of an ellipse. So from the standard equation, X is for H. Since this one is positive 4, so therefore, H is negative 4. And for K from Y, since this one is negative 5, therefore, Y or K is positive 5. Then to solve for A and B, since A squared is equal to positive 6. So we have a squared equals 6. Then to solve for a, take the square root. So therefore, a is equal to square root of 6. Then to solve for b, so since b squared is equal to 4, so we have b squared equals 4, then to solve for b, take the square root. Therefore, b is equal to positive 2. Then we also need to solve for c using this formula. Or we can have c equals the square root of a squared minus b squared. So c equals the square root of a squared. And a squared is equal to 6. 
b squared is equal to 4, so this is 6 minus 4, so therefore c equals square root of 2. So since we have now the five values, so we can find now the coordinates of the center, vertices, co-vertices, and foci from this formula. So to find now the center, then formula for the center, that's H and K. So therefore, the center of this ellipse h is negative 4 and k is positive 5. Then for the vertices, so formula for the vertices, so we have h, h is negative 4, then k, k is 5, then plus minus a, a is square root of 6. Then we can separate these two values. So we have negative 4 plus square root of 6 and the other one. Negative 4, 5 minus square root of 6. So the plus and the minus. Then to simplify, so we have negative 4. This 5 plus square root of 6. So we have 5 plus square root of 6. So this is 7.45. So positive 7.45. Then the other coordinate, negative 4. And this 5 minus square root of 6. So we have 5 then minus square root of 6. So that's 2.45. Five, five. So this is 2.55. So these are now the coordinates of the vertices. Then to solve for the co-vertices. So co-vertices. And this is now the formula. So H is negative 4, then plus minus, B is positive 2, then K, K is 5, then we need to separate now these two values, so we have negative 4, plus 2, then 5, then the other one, negative 4 minus 2, and 5, so negative 4 plus 2, this is negative 2, and 5, then negative 4, negative 2, this is negative 6 and 5. So these are now the coordinates of the co-vertices. Then the last one for the foci. So formula for the foci, so we have H. So H is negative 4, then K. K is 5, then plus minus C. C is square root of 2. So we have negative 4, 5, plus square root of 2, then the other one. Negative 4, 5, minus square root of 2. Then to find now the value, so this 5 plus square root of 2. So we have 5 plus square root of 2. Two. So this is 6.41. So we have 6.41. Then the other coordinate. So this is negative 4 and 5 minus square root of 2. So we have 5 minus square root of 2. So this is 3.59. So we have 3. 0.59. So these are now the coordinates for the foci.